What is going on everybody, Bastion YGO here coming at you with my ABC deck profile. Now, this, this is the deck that I, I really enjoy playing. I picked it up about a month and a half ago and I've really just loved playing the game uh, with this. Uh, it's very straightforward, uh, can be pretty linear, just summon ABC Buster with a Deco Talker and sit on that basically. But it does have some fun plays and it's, it's a very, very good rogue deck for, for the meta now that we're in Spyro format. I wanted to bring this, uh, bring this deck profile to you guys a lot sooner, but fortunately I wasn't able to get the cards any sooner than this. Actually, I'm still missing um, two gold gadgets and one Photon Thrasher. Um, another thing, this is not the Destrudo version with Ancient Freddy Dragon. I, I personally don't like that build. I don't see the benefits of paying half my life points to act to summon Ancient Fairy Dragon. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I think this deck is consistent, consistent enough as it is. So uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. First, you're going to want to play your triple A. Triple... whoop, there it is. Triple B and your triple C. Uh, pretty standard. They all do their own thing. Um, I think... It's a uh, assault core. When it's sent to the graveyard, you can you can add a union monster from your graveyard to your hand. The Buster Drake when it's sent to the graveyard lets you search, and C lets you special summon from your hand. So, you know, pretty much the heart and core, heart and soul of the deck. I'm gonna play two silvers and two gold gadgets. I've been playing it like this at locals for a month and a half. No one, nobody has gold gadgets. It's really upsetting. Um, but yeah, these are going to be your um, kind of extenders. You summon this to summon one of the pieces, go into a proxy dragon or a, um, a Bujinki Sukiyomi, which actually is a play that I don't really use very often anymore, surprisingly. You want to play triple Photon Thrasher. Like I said, I'm missing one. Um, but yeah, this is a great card. Uh, never lets me down. Never lets me down. I always seem to draw it. So, very good. I'm gonna play just one Gofu. That's all really all you need. Um, like I said, I've been playing this for a month, this deck for a month and a half. And personally, I, I don't see the need for running more than this. Plus, it takes up more of your extra deck, which I think this is like a really, really good uh, rank 4 spam. So, I want to have a lot of space for a lot of rank 4s. And uh, I only have a very limited space for Link Monsters. So, one Gofu. You want to play, of course, Triple Union Hanger with Triple Terraforming. Like I said before, I'm not playing the Strudel version, so I'm not playing any set rotations or Dragon's Review. Um, this is just very, very... Um, kind of a standard, old-school type of ABC build. But it works, you know, I, I, really, I really do enjoy it. I'm going to play Double Chalice and double enemy controller. I don't know if this is really used too much, but I seem, I just really, really like enemy controller. Um, it does okay against spirals. Basically, if you have a piece on the board, you can activate enemy controller to um, remove one of your one of your pieces, A, B, or C. It'll get its effect when it's sent to the graveyard, and then you can um, you can take their your opponent's double helix or something and just stop their play before they even get to activate the effect. And no one really sees this coming because no one really plays it, but I think it's a really, really great card. Same with um, Chalice. No real explanation needed there. Uh, okay, this is going to be a bit odd, but I like playing 2 MST over Cosmic Cyclone. Um, like I said, I'm not really one who's a fan of giving away my life points. I used to play Cosmo, and but that was kind of like the how the deck functioned. But you don't really need to do that in this deck, so I kind of want to minimize that, uh, minimize risk. And we're not really seeing any true Draco at all, so you can just pop it, and if it goes to the graveyard, it's fine. Really, no no big threats to you. And you want to play two board wipes, your Raigeki and your Duck Hole. And your one of spells, your rota, your mind control, your soul charge. Mind control, I've actually found this a very good card because you can just take your opponent's monster and have your monster 
um, summon a proxy dragon, so get rid of their monster immediately. It, it deals with bigger monsters, so I really like it. Like if your opponent has a um, like a crystal wing and you're trying to and you're trying to out it, you just mind control it and use one of your monsters and go into a proxy dragon. And that's <laughs> I mean that sucks for your opponent, but it's great for you. Uh, Soul Charge, like I said, is a very, very good uh, rank four spam deck, and Soul Charge just it, it saves games, it wins you games, so you can't really play ABC without Soul Charge, in my opinion. Next for the traps, you want to play two strikes and one warning. Now I know I said I don't like to give up life points, but with we're still seeing a few Pendulum Magicians running around here and there. And this just gets rid of their entire play, which is why I absolutely love it. And um, I was gonna, I want to play Recall instead of these two, but that doesn't get rid of the Pendulum Summon. It just negates the monster effect. So I'm gonna stick with the Solemn Strikes for now. Uh, it's up to you if you want to phase or not, but I just think uh, definitely uh, you're gonna need to play two strikes and a warning if you want to do well in this in this meta. And finally, I'm going to play Triple Call of the Haunted. Like I said, uh, it really doesn't matter if, you're, um, if they select the MST and you chain and your piece goes to the graveyard regardless. Because, I mean, that's fine because they, they'll get the effect off of the, of the piece. You just got to get something like a B so you can search something or a C to special. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I like 3 Call of the Haunted over Back to the Front or Soul. Um, what's it called? Oasis of Dragon Souls. I think this is still the uh, the OG, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it for the main deck. I'm gonna go into the extra deck. You wanna play, of course, your triple ABC Dragon Buster. Uh, not really much to say here. You make this, and you start outing shit your opponent controls. <laughs> uh, like I said, not too many Link monsters. You wanna play double Proxy Dragon. And the deco talker. Um, theory here is you can make a uh, proxy dragon deco talker off your gofu, or you can do use the mind control for the other proxy dragon. Um, there are times where you're going to be able to go into your deco talker without having to use gofu, uh, but this is this is just what I what I like right now. Um, you'll see when I get to the XCs, I just don't think I can cut anything to add another deco talker, another proxy dragon. But uh, I like I like this ratio of, uh, of the link monsters so far. Then you go with the XCs. You got one Gear Gigan X for the times you don't run, uh, you don't draw into your unit hanger. You need to just uh, draw out your pieces. One Sukiomi. You don't go into this play as much anymore because of the link restrictions. You're gonna like if you summon this, your opponent pretty much knows that you don't have much left, and that's pretty much gonna end your turn. Yep, I'm gonna play one Gaga -ga -ga Samurai for the uh, you know when you want to go for game. One Castell, still a staple. Now I run two heavy armored train Iron Wolf because it's 2200 that you can just attack them directly with. Uh, it's a it's a really good card. If you have able to have this and an ABC Dragon Buster in the field, you can activate Train Wolf's effect, targeting your ABC Buster. You can attack directly for 3K if need be. Uh, I'd probably cut one of these for a Tornado Dragon because definitely much more versatile but it's definitely a fun card to use and it's very very unappreciated honestly I really like this card. And to finish it off you want to play your Utopia package with your Utopia and your Prime and your Lightning. I like playing the Prime because it gives your, your Lightning two uses so Basically, if you go into the standard Utopia Lightning, you only have one monster you can out. But if you go, because it takes up uh, two materials, but if you go with this, you'll detach two to activate Utopia's effect. And when this is your opponent's turn, it's still going to have two, um, <clears throat> two more materials. So, you can, so they're going to have to uh, find some other way to beat over it. And uh, yep. So that's going to be it guys, it's going to do it for my ABC deck profile. Like I said, I, I don't like the, the Destrudo build. I, I don't see much of a gain from, from having an Ancient Fairy Dragon, to be honest. Uh, I like the build the way it is, the classic ABC. It's fun, it's been doing pretty well for me. And uh, yeah, 
Let me know what you guys think, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.